Good morning, my name is Nadia Marsal, I'm from Cabo Verde. Uh, I'm going to talk about my journey and how I have been announcing the opportunities in order to improve my skills. For this, I identify four basic components that uh, should be taken into consideration. The first one is uh, how to embrace the challenge. When I finished my bachelor degree and my specialization in Brazil, I went back home so excited and filled with uh, new ideas. However, after very, several failed job interviews, uh, I came across with some opportunities to work on different files. Each one of those activities helped me to improve my personal and professional skills and get to know the labor market in Cabo Verde. Uh, so when you are not able to find a new job or working in a field that you would wish to, you have just to be able to embrace different challenges. And I have a question for you. Are we prepared to get out of our comfort zone? The second component is that we have to be able to build creative solutions. Uh, after one year moving from one job to another, I was selected during a job interview and I moved on to another island, a very small municipality, in order to become a regional coordinator of a deportee reintegration project. During this period, I faced several um, challenges due, due to the new social and cultural environment. I was in charge of two offices in two different islands and leading two different assistants. Uh, after three years, I assumed the national coordination in the capital city in, of the same project. Uh, during this period, my family was very important for me. So the family support is a must-have tool during this um, journey to succeed in your life. The third component is take risk. It is known that as a leader, you should be able to inspire others and this is not possible if you are not feeling uh, motivated while performing your duties. So in order to fire up my motivation, I just took one year off from my job without pay um, in order to participate in a master program in Australia. During the selection process, I had the opportunity to travel across the continent for the first time and I ended up in Tanzania for six lovely months. To sum up, I failed the final exam and I wasn't uh, selected to the master degree in Australia, but I gained a great deal of experience and, and networking opportunities for the travel. And I also tried to improve my English skills. So are we prepared to close one road and try a track? We should be. The last <clears throat> component that we should take in consideration is that we have to be able to foster the positive aspect of a failed opportunity. As I have mentioned before, I failed an English exam, but due to the English skills gaining, I was able to um, replace my boss in both national and international events. I was selected to attend a one-month course regarding migration and development in Netherlands, and I was also selected to be part of the Mandela Washington Fellowship. So fellows, are we able to identify our weaknesses, accept our failures, and get the positive aspect of them? I hope so, because we are all here to become a young African leaders. And this is a moment, and this moment is an opportunity. Thank you.